Shema Yisroel Adinoi Eloi Heinu Adinoi Echol There was this American soldier whose battalion was about to liberate a concentration camp. Before they went in, his commander called the platoon together. And he said, look, I need to speak to all of you and you all need to listen and you need to listen to me. What you're about to see will be like nothing you've ever seen in your lives before. It's going to be different than the other cities that we were coming into. You're about to enter a concentration camp. You will never experience such pain again in your life. You will not believe that human beings could possibly be capable of doing this to other human beings. The people that you are about to see are skin and bones, nothing else. They have not eaten anything beyond scraps and morsels in years. And so whatever you do, whatever you do, as much as you're going to want to give them food, don't give them any food. Every one of them needs medical attention. They need to be brought back to health so that their, their, their digestive system could digest the food and not kill them. And as far as the children, don't give them the Hershey bars. They will not be able to digest them. Not yet. Their systems will not be able to withstand it. You'll be doing more harm than good. They can die as a result. Each one of them will be taken care of. They will be nourished back to health but it can't be through you. So this American soldier relates that when he came into the camp, he sees this child, barely alive, totally shell-shocked. And this child comes to him and he's begging. He's begging for food, he's starving. And he described how his heart was breaking, a starving, dying child. And he couldn't pull out of his backpack that which he was asking for. And he describes us how he was crying on the inside. And he says to this child, I don't have any food that I can give you, but I can give you something. I can give you a hug. And with that, he reached out and he hugged this child. And he said, I cried like I never cried before. And the child put his arms around me and he started crying. And then he said the most incredible thing happened. Suddenly, all of these children, barely alive, started flocking over, each one waiting on line so that I can give them a hug too. And before you knew it, there was a line, dozens of children waiting for a hug. They weren't waiting for a chocolate bar. They were waiting for some human contact. After all the hatred and all the violence that they encountered, just a little bit of love just a little bit of love from a caring human being. Shema Yisroel Adinoi Eloiheinu Adinoi Echod Adinoi Echod